What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel and this is my review for the new Netflix film Extraction. This movie was directed by Sam Hargrave and it stars Chris Hemsworth as a mercenary who is hired to extract the young son of a drug lord who is imprisoned and this mission is almost basically impossible as a rival gang is trying to get this kid Back. This film has been hyped up for the past couple of weeks on Twitter by Chris Hemsworth and some of the filmmakers and especially the Russo brothers because this is a project that was produced by Joe and Anthony Russo, obviously the directors behind Infinity War and Avengers Endgame. I liked the fact that Chris Hemsworth was going to be in this movie. It felt very action heavy and action packed and my consensus after watching this film is that this movie isn't great. It's okay. This movie doesn't offer you anything new or outside of the box. What this movie does is it kind of stays within this box of essentially this extraction mission that essentially goes south and basically it feels like everyone is against the character of Chris Hemsworth. The things I don't like about these films is that there are so many plot holes, there are so many conveniences placed for the villains in this film. It just seems like in this movie, everybody is siding with this gangster who is this notorious evil person. He has basically the whole city on lockdown. And to me, I'm gonna be honest, I lived in El Salvador for two years. That is where true gangs, true crime actually happens. And let me tell you, those people, are they dangerous? Of course they are. Do they have the tools necessary to get anything they want? Not necessarily. They are marked as terrorists by the government and so therefore they aren't able to get blockades in every single roadway. So to me, the plot holes and the inconsistencies are there enough to the point where these movies just make me feel completely out of the realm of reality because I've been in a situation like this. I've lived in a country where there are gang issues and gang related crime happening. So yeah, it's something that this person should not have this much power and it just makes the movie feel so unbelievable that it never allows me to kind of sink into the atmosphere of this film and the fantasy of this movie. Because again, this is fiction. This is not supposed to be a true story. But the thing is, I like to have some reality in movies like this. And in this particular instance, there is not any sign of reality in this film. Chris Hemsworth gives a good performance. I think Chris Hemsworth is the standout of this film. I also think the young kid who plays Ovi also does a fantastic job. I think that that kid has some true acting talent. And I think that he will probably be somebody that we'll see again. But other than that, I, I just felt like this movie was okay. It never felt to me that the true criminal or the true antagonist of the film was really that scary. He's so almost pathetic in a way where it's almost unbelievable how powerful and mighty this guy is. Another thing that I will say about this film, and this is no fault of the movie, but this movie truly feels like Call of Duty. It feels exactly like the story in a Call of Duty game. So really this movie should have just been called Call of Duty in my opinion. I do have one more thing left to say. The last little thing is that this movie, the ending of this film goes a more ambiguous route where it almost feels like they're trying to set up for a sequel. And I really don't see a sequel happening. Would I watch it? I'd be kind of interested to see what happens. And I don't know how you'd make a sequel that would be convincing enough to tell us how this story continues. I'm not gonna give anything away, but there's an end to this movie and that's it. You just have to watch the movie and find out why I'm saying what I'm saying. Anyway guys, what did you think of Extraction? Let me know down below in the comment section of this video. Make sure you guys drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more content just like this. And as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay safe.